everybody, how's it going? This is Downing. And today I just wanted to show off the uh, progress that I'm making on these control packs for the cross-plane system commission that I'm doing. Um, this is just a basic control pack, which is really what gave the cross-plane its versatility. Um, you could have one that is designed for the Xbox 360, which is essentially the brains of an Xbox 360 controller, um, custom made and wired to fit into one of these casings, which then slides into the back of the crossplane. And this is pretty much what gave you the ability to, you know, use the crossplane as a generic interface for whichever system you had it plugged into. So it was a pretty neat concept, um, but in practice, it's very difficult to actually get this to uh, function properly. And I'll kind of show you why here and give you an example of what I'm doing right now then it really will kind of illuminate why this takes so long to do. So I will be right back. Alright, so what you're looking at right here are the generic interfaces between um, how the crossplane communicates with the controller. Now because we didn't get a chance to go to production with this or really work out any of the um, you know, dedicated control packs and um, having controller boards actually be, um, you know, done right onto the on these test packs. Um, these all had to be hand wired and uh, hand assembled. Uh, this was the original version that we went with, the original prototype. Um, and basically, what this does is it takes the signal and a button press from. You know whatever button it was wired to and sends it to this quad controller which can then feed it out to one of these uh, test points here which then gets hardwired right to a controller board so for example if you want to push the X button on the PlayStation you push the button it would go to here it would get uh, sent to one of these quad ICs depending on you know where it was wired to and then it would get sent out through this uh, through these test points. We did that because the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 have two different methods of actually running. The Xbox is just a common ground setup and the PlayStation is a common line setup. What this test pack did was allow us to use the original boards um, by converting everything to a 5 volt system as opposed to just a common ground or a common line. So what that would do is these put it plainly acted as an actuator from a tack switch so when 5 volts goes through them it acts the same as if the tack switch were being pressed at the same time so you push the tack switch on the cross plane gets sent there it pushes these two buttons at once to close the circuit and then the controller thinks that there's been a uh, button press so RDC is actually well if anyone doesn't know who he is or who've uh, seen his work before uh, very smart character and um, these are all his designs so he helped us out a great deal with that um, and as I said this was the first version that we did in the original crossplane and this is the new version that we did with the uh, crossplane commission so now I'm gonna kinda show you what it takes to get this to work properly so right here is a work in progress um, wiring up the Xbox 360 controller into one of these control packs. And as you can see, you got the back of the case, just like uh, the other one. And then on the inside is where all the magic happens. Now, right now, I'm only about maybe halfway through wiring this whole thing right now, but um, pretty standard to what you would do uh, on any type of portable wiring job. But this one is a common ground setup, so it's a little bit easier to work with than the PlayStation 3 is. But if we flip this over, we get to see yeah, come on. that this is partially, partially wired up. But over here, you know, this this side takes care of all the analog sticks and the directions, so those have a dedicated pinout. 
and then I haven't hooked up the rumble motors yet but those are right down there as well and then the rest are all the test points where the buttons will act as they're pressed and then uh, get sent to the Xbox to be processed and then from there to the system and so forth. Um, because this is a common ground setup, uh, I can do and get away with not having to put a wire on every single test point to complete the connection. Um, so pretty much what I'm doing is just going to put a whole one big ground wire to connect all the buttons on here and then connect down here via this uh, PCB bus. So it'll just act as a ground for everything so I don't have to put wires on every single one. And then once that's done, I just have to fold it back over and probably have to do another uh, resize with the wires. Um, oops, just because uh, there's no way to get it right on the first try uh, and have the flexibility and the mobility to move this around. Because then this has got to fit in there and this little tiny cover has got to go over that to close it up. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I've got the PlayStation 3 one partially wired too. And this is a completely different ball game. Um, mainly because everything is all contained into this one little uh, one little strip or connector spot. And the same deal. I gotta make it fit in one of these control packs casings. But yeah. So anyway, that's where I'm at, and I'll give you guys more updates when it gets a little bit further along. Thanks.